Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. And the first song I'm hearing this morning is, let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. I feel like such a dork singing, but if they bring things through me, I just kind of have to, um, you know, let it come through. So I hope my blog talk connection is strong this morning. I feel like there might be some difficulties with it. If there is, I'm going to try to re-log in to blog talk. I can't control basically anything anymore, but hey, whatever. Um, I can't control like the blog talk connection or the YouTube connection. I do my best to have everything set up on my end, but we never know what's going on like with YouTube or with blog talk. I mean, they do their best. Um, there's a lot of people using it. We don't know what's going on with satellites or, or anything else. So we're just going to do our best today and like go with the flow. Um, so the first thing I want to say, a couple quick announcements. The, the race is coming up. The superhero stomp is coming up May 22nd. For those of you who can make it, I would absolutely love for you to be there bring your children they can dress up as superheroes and do the run i actually finally put a link in the chat and in the comments or in the description for the race now if you want to donate if you want to hit that link and go donate to the race you can please let me know so that i can give you a shout out on air, Matthew Moore. Thank you so much for donating. Anybody else who has donated, please let me know. If you're a business that would like to make a donation for the charity end of it, please let me know. I'll be happy to give your business the shout out also. Okay. Um, I'm going to be talk on Talk in the Night with Phil uh, paranormal Phil tomorrow night from 9 to 11. Okay, folks, I expect you to bring your spooky questions. <laughs> your spooky, spooky questions um, about paranormal stuff. I think Phil will have some good answers about paranormal stuff. I'll, I'll give you intuitive answers. Um, all that good stuff, okay? Uh, what else, what else, what else? I feel like I should be saying, I do private sessions, tonyg.info if you want a private session. All right. I am going to be taking callers in a moment. Um, I, it, when I call your area code, please just say your name and your, oh my gosh, I'm already seeing orbs, you guys. I just like above my one plant, I saw a blue orb. It was that big. It was awesome. Let's see what happens today. <laughs> On Monday's show, there was a lot of activity, beautiful, angelic activity that even the viewers could see. Okay. Um, when I call your area code, just give me your, your name. And your area, not your area code, your name and where you're calling from. I'm so sorry. And um, a direct question, an exact question. And I'll be, I'll do my best to answer that question. If you want to connect with a loved one, I just need your loved one's name and relationship to you. And any conversation or connection that you would want to, any conversation or question that you have for your loved one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So if you, you know, some people get on and they're like, they, they want to know why do I need a name and an exact relationship? Because once you're on and you say, who's there, any, and anybody and everybody who's in the vicinity is going to start talking, even if they're here for another listener or watcher. Um, I've had people show up that like people don't know and it makes it look like I don't know really like, oh, she was really wrong. No, I'm, I'm not wrong. This person is here and they want to talk. You ask for anybody, here's anybody. Um, so be exact about your question and your um, connection. 
and we will get you the best possible answer we can. Okay. If you're calling, if you've called in before and you're calling in again, please have a different question, a new question available. Um, I want to say hello to everybody online. We have Cheryl, Lolly, Heather, Genevieve, um, Fawn. Hey, you guys, Genevieve, it's always wonderful to see you. Cheryl, I love when you're on. Um, I miss you guys too. I miss the babies so much, Cheryl. Oh my goodness. Um, Lolly. Okay. So first, um, online Heather has a question about her relationship and I'm going to read her question. Now, if you go to YouTube, you can put a question in the chat. If I can get to the question, I absolutely will. I will take my callers on my call log and I'll try to come back every once in a while and get a question on the chat. If you do want to call in, it's 845-277-9131. Now, if you are watching on WSCS or Rude Rangers TV or Roku or any of the other uh, podcasts, iHeart, um, any other station, or channel or podcast and you want to join the show live i go live every single monday and wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes i have to do the show in 30 minute segments because it does air on tv and tv does 30 minute segments so if i'm at 30 minutes and i go over i'm gonna run that next 30 minutes if you have to hear me babble uh, but typically I have more than enough call. I like can't get to all my callers, unfortunately. So if I, you know, if I'm running and, and at that 30 minute mark, if I have a day fully booked, I'll try to wind it down at that 30 minute mark. But if you do join me um, live, you can comment in the comment on YouTube live, the chat section. If you join me um, on podcast, you can call in and ask questions. I always love um, the people who call in and join me, whether they're new or they've been with me for a while. Uh, it's always amazing and fun. Okay, dokie. Here we go. Uh, Heather's question is, is my relationship ever going to get back to normal after the big blow up that just happened with my kid, uh, me and him? Should I just move on? I've been given an ultimatum by my son to leave him. Okay. Now, up until I heard the ultimatum part, I had one answer set. Then when I heard that, I have to change the answer a little bit. And here's why. You ain't the boss of me. <laughs> like, basically is what I'm hearing. You cannot let anyone, friend, family, child, Unless this person has done something physically to your child, they don't get to say what you do as an adult. Even if this was your child's biological father, I get it's not. I get it's not his biological father. But even if it was, there are blow ups in family. People fight. That's the problem with today's world. Nobody's willing to effing put in the work. You have a little fight or a big fight and everybody's like, jump, get out, run. That's not the way it always works in this world. It's not about the fight. What did we learn from the fight? Can we resolve the issues of the fight? Not can we resolve the fight. You can resolve any effing fight, okay? You can. You can resolve any fight whatsoever. You can get over any fight. Did you resolve the issue that caused the fight? Can you resolve the issue that caused the fight? If you cannot resolve the issue that caused the fight, jump. And I'm hearing that crisscross song, jump, jump. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not sorry. What I'm getting is if you go, if you leave this situation, your son cannot in any way, shape, or form 
think this was because of his ultimatum. And mostly because then in the future, with whatever partner you're with, this will come up again. And your children will feel like they have jurisdiction over your relationship. No child should have that power again unless, unless there was some form of abuse on the children. Your job is to always protect your children. It is. That's just your job. It's to protect your children. Every parent, your job is to protect your children. Even if you're married to the guy, your job is to protect your children first. Okay? You brought them into this world. It's your job to protect them from anyone and everyone. Brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, grandpas, grandmas, and yes, partners. That's your damn job. That's it. That's it. You protect them and you teach them to protect themselves. Now, having said that, if there was no abuse, can the issue be resolved? I feel like it can't. I feel like this issue is unresolvable. I feel like whatever caused the big blow up, that action is going to continue. And eventually there will be another big blow up. In which case, then you're all just waiting for the next shoe to drop. And that's not healthy. Okay. I can't tell you leave this guy. I can tell you this isn't over. This unhealthy part of it isn't over. Okay. Uh, relationships are not easy. Um, no matter whom you are with. But the one thing I can say, and, and for you, anybody listening, listen. Number one, don't stay with somebody out of guilt. That's just an insult. Don't say stay with someone because you feel badly for them, because you don't want to hurt them. That's a freaking insult. Let them go and let them find somebody who's with them because they want to be with them. Maybe that is, find somebody that has more in common with them. Number two, don't waste anybody's time. If you know this isn't the person, if you know you're going to be moving on, if you know you're not serious about this person, but they're just a place setting, a seat setting, a seat filler, seat filler, a seat filler until the next person or the right person or the side person gets their shit together, let that person go. Don't be selfish. Let that person go. And let that person find somebody, again, who wants them, who wants to be with them. I've been in both of those situations. And it's, it's a really horrible, horrible place to be. Don't waste, don't waste anybody's time. Don't waste my time. If I'm not it, that's okay. My ego can handle I'm not it. There's a line behind you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sit down, move over, step up. I'm just saying everybody's got a line. You might not know there's a line of people waiting to get to know you or that want to take you out, but everybody has a line. There's not just this one person that's treating you like dog doo-doo that is the only person that's interested in you. If they're not serious about you, sit down, move aside. Let somebody who's serious about me or you or you jump in. Let them show me what it's all about if you can't. That's it. Now, if you're on either end of that, if you're wasting somebody's time, if you're leading somebody, even if you say, I'm not leading them on, they know, they don't know. They have hope. They have, trust us. We know. Girls, we know. Girls, speak up. My women, my women, shout out on my chat. We know. We know. So I'm just going to say, in this case, Heather, don't waste this guy's time if you know it's over. Don't make excuses, but don't let your son 
believe that he had the power via his ultimatum to break you up. You can say, listen, it was a very unhealthy situation and it was difficult for me to make this decision. I did not make it because of your ultimatum, but I did make it because it was very unhealthy and I needed to make sure I was making the right choice. And that that would be my, um, my recommendation if you go that route. I can tell you there are going to be a lot more blow ups. They're going to be instigated by both sides, the boyfriend and the son. Um, they both want to win in this case. Oh my goodness. It's a very difficult decision. Your son's forever, right? Um, and the last thing that the angels want to tell you about this is if your mother were in this situation, what would it have been? healthiest for your mother to do for everybody involved okay i don't think this is I, i'm going to tell you honestly this isn't your ever after relationship i i know that um but i can't tell you what to do okay beautiful girl i'm going to go to the first caller two one two what's your name where are you calling from love hello hello hi tony this is Brent. This is Bryn from New York City. Bryn, hello. Hey. Hi. How, right. how are you? Okay. Uh, it's been it's been rough, you know, very rough. So yeah. I, I wanted to know what my guides have been trying to get me to know. What's important for me to know from the angels and guides around me? It could be a Due to part loved one who has a message or, or an angel or guide or whatever. Okay. Need to know right now. Um, the first message that you that is coming through for for you is um you're okay. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Oh. The second message is it's almost done. Whatever you're going through, whatever I whatever like eval I get the word evaluation, but I think I'm saying the word wrong. Whatever mm. um, leveling up or learning or um, evolution, evolution that you're going through, it's almost done. I feel like in six months you will have completed this course that you're going through right now. I feel like in six within mm. within six months, everything that you've been going through that's been so tumultuous and difficult is going to smooth out a little bit. You're going to come out the other side wiser, which is what we need to do at this point. Don't look at it like, why is this happening? Say, thank you for letting me have this experience so I can um, learn from it. The one statement I'm hearing that should be your mantra um, for right now, whether, whether you are religious or not, um, is there but for the grace of God go I, which means, you know what, I might be in this situation, but thank God I'm not in that situation. So a small little stupid example is one day I was driving and I was very upset because of, um, because I couldn't, it's a, I'm not even going to go into why, but I was, I was upset about my ankle having been broken and not being able to run oh, yeah. and I hadn't been recovered and I'm driving down the street and I see this guy <laughs> in a wheelchair <laughs> rolling his wheelchair <laughs> uphill and I'm like I'm sorry God I'll never complain again <laughs> like I was like okay point taken <laughs> point taken I don't feel so sorry for myself anymore now do I <laughs> Um, so looking at all of the players, everybody around you and realizing this might be my circumstance, but this is what this person is going through. And thank God I'm not in that situation. Thank God I'm the observer of it. And just coming out of it with that, that view will get you through it, get you through this evolutionary process a little bit faster. So... <clears throat> You could be done in about three months, but depending on how you 
perceive what happens or understand what understand what happens will determine the amount of time that you go through it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful soul. Mm. Okay, thank you, Tony. I you, appreciate it. You are so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Bryn, thank you so much for calling in. I look forward to yeah, next time. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry to say this. I am. I'm so sorry. You need to not use excuses. So, for example, okay. Um, for example, when I had my dogs, I was so content with my dogs. I didn't care if I went out. I had they were my little love bugs, and I didn't care if I like went out and did things. I'd always be like, "Oh no, I have to go home to my dogs." Like I was using them as an excuse to not be out there. Um so what you need to do is really be in that space where you are um, not have hiding be hiding behind something. You're not hiding behind something. You need to get okay. front and center of your own life because your life is about you okay. and whomever, whatever else is in your life is a is. I know it sounds harsh, and I get that people don't like when people say this, but any, any person that comes into your life, any a pet that it's an, it's kind of an accent of you. It doesn't become your whole identity or your reason not to participate in your own life or be out doing what you need to do or want to do, um, okay. or living or just in general living. Um, so what I'm getting is that it's really important for you, even if you do have other things going on, this is the focal point. It's not all consuming. You're also living your life. You know, and, and Pat, this is a um, listening or watching. We want to be in a relationship and we um, say to ourselves, like, I want somebody who loves me unconditionally. Do you love you unconditionally? Because if you don't, you won't recognize unconditional love. You won't. You won't. Um, but what is more important mm -hmm. is we think somebody comes in and they're going to be our personal playmate in the bedroom. Yes. Absolutely. They should be your personal playmate. Absolutely. Maybe on the living room couch, the kitchen chair, kitchen. Okay. Maybe not the kitchen table. That's kind of gross. Um, but like the bathroom, wherever you want them to be your personal playmate intimately, they can do that. But you still have to live your life. Okay. You still have to live your path. Oh my God your destiny and your future somebody can't come into your life and that becomes your focal point and you let that take over everything so you have to be right. and, and even if it's pets <clears throat> even if it's pets you need to be in that space where you are having still your focal point and doing your thing okay beautiful girl yeah, it's a good thing to be contemplating. And um, uh, listeners, get a reading with Tony. <laughs> I just saved up my money and Yay! booked one again. So, Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't yeah, wait to do your too. reading. And I'm going to, like, I'm going to say, and Pat will I, tell you this too. My readings on the show are completely different than my one-on-one -on -one readings. Yes, you get honest, accurate information, but it's, like for the show, oh, it's, yeah. it's a little different vibe. There's a lot of energy coming at me. I try to make it a little funny. I try to make it a little bit more entertaining because it is a show. But like one-on-one, -on -one, it's it's much more private. It's all about you and your energy and like really yeah. helping you move forward, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's the real stuff. You get your questions answered and you get questions answered that you didn't even have or think you had. 
and uh, she channels wonderful information. And I'm already thinking about saving up for my second one. I haven't even gotten the first one. I just love you, Tony. Oh, so God bless and thank you. I love you so much too. And I can't wait to talk to you during your session. And thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. I, I'm going to take one more. I'm going to try to get to one more person in the chat. Hey, I saw Sal. Hey, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, how are you? Um, Patrick is here. Sal is here. Hey, Sal. And um, Unconscious Wisdom, hey, uh, and then Jennifer is here. Hey, Jennifer, I'm going to, uh, just wanted to tell you that I went to the funeral and it was good, like I said, it would be. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Jennifer is um, Jennifer from Canada, I believe. She called in a week or two weeks ago and asked about going to a funeral that involved an ex's side of the family. And I just said, yeah, you're going to get some. I don't remember everything I said, but she just gave me a confirmation that it was it was good and that the information I gave her, it was valid and it worked out. Um, <laughs> Patrick, I'm not saying. <laughs> and Patrick says, and Tony looks even better in person. <laughs> oh, you are very kind, Patrick. You are a sweetie. That is for sure. Um, and yes, okay. So a few things about my sessions. Um, a couple people have reached out and asked a few questions about private sessions. Yes, you can fly me out to where you are. And yes, I will do sessions that way. No, I will not stay at your home. Seconds. I will not stay at your home. Um, if you fly me out for a session with you, um, you must also put me in a hotel, not at your personal home. <laughs> This is not a way to get a weekend with me. <laughs> will not work. Sorry, but true. Um, and if you fly in, yes, I will um, make sure that I'm available to do your session during those fly-in dates, uh, the dates that you are here. I've had a lot of people um, fly in from other countries and other states to travel, travel in to see me and have sessions with me and healing work with me. And I'm, I try to accommodate them the best that I can. As long as I'm not out of the country or out of the state, it works out perfectly. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Until Monday, have an absolutely amazing weekend.